All right, y'all, welcome to it. Uh, single shot number four. And uh, y'all, I think this is a pretty big one. Uh, this here is the masterpiece Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. Now, I got this one at Target. This I got this guy, Feller, a couple, uh, couple of months ago. And uh, he, to be honest with you, he's my only masterpiece Transformer that I have in my collection. Uh, when I saw him, I was just floored by his detail and uh, how good he looks. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at him. Uh, I did find this guy at Target. He ran about $110. So he was one of the cheaper masterpieces, honestly, y'all. And I think he's worth every penny. So, um, like I said, the detail is phenomenal. Uh, he was only at Target for a short run. I have not seen one at my local Targets probably in about, oh, I'd say a good two months. So, um, probably be up to the third mar the third party markets to get this feller. But uh, if you have a chance and he's at a de decent price, I definitely would recommend this. So um, he's up on the turntable now, and I think he, he looks just awesome. Uh, his coloring's great. His uh, presence on my shelf is really great. So let's do it. Let's take a little bit closer look at him. Let me go ahead and get him off the turntable here, and we'll take a look. Let's take a look at everything he is, what's about him. That's a great shot right there, y'all. So let's go ahead, set him back just a little bit. Take a look at his blaster here. Now, one gripe I do have, y'all. On this blaster, you can see it, you got the little screws. And, you know, if they had used black screws on this, that really would have taken care of that problem. But nonetheless, this is a good sculpt. It's got a lot of detail. Let's go to the other side here. A lot of detail. Looks really cool, I think, y'all. Let's focus in a little bit. Also, what this does, it does fold up. This is for truck mode. So you can fold up his weapon for the truck mode uh, when you do convert him, when you do transform. So there you go, y'all. A pretty cool looking weapon. That's about all it does. The clip doesn't come out or anything like that. But uh, there you go, y'all. Good detail. Looks good. Solid uh, black except for the top here, which has got some gray in it. But there's his weapon. That's the only weapon he comes with. And let's bring him just a little bit closer here. We'll take a good look at that head sculpt. Uh, head sculpt's great, y'all. I mean, it it is killer. You can see that the amount of detail in this guy is just phenomenal. Let's take a look at the top of him. A lot of good detail on him. A lot of good detail. So let's bring him back just a bit. His head's got good rotation. He can. It's not great for looking up. Looking down, he can do it a little bit. Side to side's good. He can barely... Nah, he doesn't really even have a nice uh, side to side, but... Honestly, y'all, you probably just want him looking a little bit to that, to straightforward or looking side to side. And I'm I'm totally fine with that. Uh, his paint really looks crisp, y'all. As you can tell, the red's nice and bright. The yellows, the blues, all of it looks really cool to me. I mean, you know, hard to gripe too much about this figure because there is just so many good things going on. So let's take a look, a look at the arm articulation. His arms do go up. These uh, pipes get out of the way pretty well, so he'll go up all the way. His elbows, nice ratchet joint, as you can hear, and he goes up quite a ways. Look at that. That's a good, good, good movement. He also has the opening hands, be able to get his weapon in, which is great. And his elbows are on a bit. They're, they're good, y'all. Like I said, good, good movement on his elbows. He also has some waist movement which is great that helps a lot so that's good there i give that a good solid review his legs do spread out pretty far now he's got these panels here that will get out of the way let's lift up his arms panels will get out of the way to allow him some more he pretty much does the splits there y'all as you can see that so that's great too these panels get out of the way and allow him for full range on his hips so that's pretty cool uh let's take a look at his knee articulation his knees only bend up about that far. So he's got just one ratchet. You can hear that ratchet. So decent, but, you know, not the greatest. He also has some rotation right here in his uh, upper thigh. And then his ankle joints are pretty good. He's got some good inside bend, but no outside. And then he does go up just a little bit down and back, forward and back. So, um... You know, again, y'all, I think he looks pretty good. The articulation's definitely there. Let's go in and give you a shot of the backside. The backside, you got a lot of that mechanism-looking part to old Optimus and really looking solid. The wheels look good, nice and crisp. 
again, I think my biggest gripe is um, just being able to see some of these screws, but you know, there's not much you can really do about that. Um, and honestly, y'all, I'm, I'm, if I had to have one masterpiece, I'm actually glad it's this one, uh, just due to the fact that, you know, this is really what we should have gotten with the whole Bayverse thing to start with. We should have gotten this figure right here. We should have gotten this design right here, but be that as it may, we didn't. But uh, if y'all have a chance, you can get him at a good price. I'd highly recommend him. I'm going to go ahead get and give him an 8.5 out of 10. Main reasons I'm not giving him any higher scores, those screws that you can see, and some limited articulation in the knees and the uh, the ankles, but uh, and a little bit in the head as well. But overall, y'all, if you can find this figure, I'd say go for it. Just make sure you get him at a good price, all right? So there you go. The uh, Masterpiece Bumble Me Optimus Prime. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and we'll talk to y'all real soon. Sign out, y'all.